instant satisfaction, gratification and all that. And they think by doing this, they will get that. Kshipram hi manushe loke siddhir bhavati karmaya. They desire also for quick results. And they feel karma, whatever they do, the karma here, I do more karma, I get more money. I do this, more that I get. So there is such kind of fascination for that. Therefore, they remain all the time engaged in this kind of worldly activities or only trying to please many power or gods, different deities that are there. Uh, that I will please Indra, Ityadi, so I can go to heaven. They think that is easier than to live a life of control, discipline. That is very difficult. Therefore, they don't come to me. Okay, now let us go back to the same. Janma karma chame divyam evam yo vetti tatvataha Tyaktva deham punar janma naiti mameti sorjana. The one who understands in truth the divinity of my janma and karma, then that person becomes one with Bhagawan. That was said. Now, divinity of janma, that was said. But what is the divinity of karma? That is the question, number one. Second, Bhagavad, you said dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. To establish that dharma, you incarnate. But how that dharma is established? How it is then? What is that dharma? How it is established? I told you already, dharma ste glane bhavati means what happens there. But how this integration within, or the integration in the society, and prosperity and all, how all that is accomplished? There has to be a system of management. Without that you cannot. Even now the jnana yadnya also is going on. So it involves a lot of organization, management and all that, isn't it? Then only it will happen. It will smoothly will happen. How do you do that? And that's how it is said, the next shloka, the thirteenth shloka we will read. Uh, and you know, that shloka, the statement that is made there, oh, oh what shall I tell you? debatable, controversial, and lot of arguments and lot of misunderstanding. So many things are there about that. Huh? We'll try. Huh? Now first let us read this shloka and then we will uh, think about it. I do not think that I, I will be able to complete the whole thought of that in few minutes, but we'll start, we'll continue tomorrow then, because it's a very important topic. Now let us read the shloka number 13. Chatur Varnyam Maya Shrishtam Gunakarma Vibhagashaha Tasya Kartaram Apimam Vidya Kartaram Avyayam Bhagavan said, Chatur Varnyam Maya Shrishtam. This Vyavastha of four Varnas, what you call four castes. You know, not only in India, in the Western world, everywhere, some notion about Hindu Dharma is very much prevailing. And that is one of them is Hindu dharma means equal to caste system, equation. And you know what has happened to this caste system? All that, so many problems are there. 
एंड नाउ हियर भगवान से चातुर्वर ने माया सृष्ट आज आई क्रिएटेड दी दी कास्ट सिस्टम ऑफ फोर वर्ड एज एंड मेनी पीपल ओनली रीड दिस मच एंड दे विल स्टार्ट कंडेमिंग भगवान ऑल्सो एंड दी गीता ऑल्सो एंड एवरीथिंग ऑल्सो दैट दीज आर द पीपल रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ऑल दैट बट नो वे टू विद अ काम एंड कूल माइंड फर्स्ट वे टू थिंक एंड अंडरस्टैंड चातुर्वर्ण मया सिस्टम दे डोंट रीड दी नेक्स्ट लाइन गुण कर्म विभागश बेस्ड ऑन दी डिविजन ऑफ गुण एंड कर्म दिस चातुर्वर्ण वॉट यू चातुर्ण वी कॉल ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य शूद्र दीज नेम्स आर गिवन इन द शास्त्र and there is a fight with the names and that also for the first and last in between two of their okay for the brahman and shudra that is a lot of fight but we don't know even what is said chaturvarde maya srishtam guna karma vibhasha tasya kartaram maam vidhi you understand me to be the doer the author of it and also a kartaram and also understand i am not doer avyayam i am imperishable be this is the divyata of karma even though the doer i still not doer now here so many questions arise what is this chaturvarni vyavastha and why this topic suddenly has come up i i really had thought a lot about that in everything going on why this should come here then it, i understood it is uh, it is right because when you say dharma and dharma sansthapana how that will be done the practical implication of that will be only through this now one thing is called varna other is called ashram people don't have problem with ashram vyavastha <laughs> ashram vyavastha means brahmacharya ashram student life grihastha ashram that household life then van prastha ashram that is retirement life you solely withdraw from world life sanyas ashram not that they go to van prastha and sanyas but the ashram as such they understood that is okay ashram vyavastha not much problem somebody said this ashram vyavastha is in simple word in brahmacharya ashram student life you learn grihastha ashram you earn van prastha you turn and sanyas no return this is called these four ashramas are there the problem is with the varna <laughs> the varna vyavastha that is the problem 